Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today, I'm so excited. I'm gonna show you this pumpkin spice makeup look. Every single year, I do a pumpkin spice look and I had to do one again this year. And this one I think is my favorite. This is just so smoky, but like glam and sparkly. It just like encompasses fall and harvest and everything in between. I'm not a huge pumpkin spice latte fan myself. I think it's a little too much, but I can get down with a Starbucks pumpkin cream cold brew any day and give me some pumpkin pie. So that's what this look is. I got a new fall sweater. We're just celebrating fall right now and I'm really happy with how this turned out. So I hope you like it. Please subscribe and let's get started. Okay, so, so I wanna start out with the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. I feel like I haven't used this in quite a while. So I'm just gonna squeeze this and it kinda looks like silicone-y, but then it like disperses into like a, just a soft liquidy gel almost. And then I'm gonna use my Chanel Revitalizing Foundation. This has just been my favorite and I can't stop using it. I will look at pictures of me and I'm like, wow, my skin looks really good. And every time it's been that I have on this foundation. So I know it's bougie, but I'm obsessed. I'm just blending this in using a Fox 4 brush. Uh, my brush set is still available. It's on Sigma's website. I'll link it down below. And if you didn't know, I created a brush set with Sigma and I custom designed three different brushes. I had, never, <laughs> I had to think it's been a while since I've talked about it, but um, yeah, I custom designed three different brushes and it's a full face kit. Uh, it consists of five brushes and I think that you could do like a full face with all of those brushes. So um, yeah, check it out. I'll link it down below would also make an amazing Christmas gift if you have a beauty lover in your life because it's got everything that they would need. And then for concealer, I'm gonna use the usual Pat McGrath Skin Sublime Fetish Concealer. The eyes, and blend this in with my beauty blender. I feel like that concealer mixed with this beauty blender is like the, a match made in heaven. They're the perfect combo. It just blends the concealer so nicely. And then for cream bronzer, I wanna use this one because I haven't used it in a while. This is the e.l.f. cream bronzer in the color Tan Lines. These putty blush and bronzers from e.l.f. are just the best. They're so good, they're inexpensive, they work like a dream. I just want more colors, never enough. Never enough. I'm going to stipple this onto my skin. It's a little bit more cool toned than the Charlotte bronzer I've been using. And it's also a little bit more natural. So it goes on a little bit lighter, which is probably good for me because I have a heavy hand when it comes to bronzer. So this kind of helps me to make it a little bit more natural. Okay, for powder, I'm gonna go into the Jason Wu setting powder. I think this is in translucent or light. I don't know, but I'm going to use my little powder puff. I'm gonna set under the eyes here. Such a nice powder. And then just blend it out. I am going to contour with the Anastasia Contour Kit. Such a classic. Um, I think I'm gonna mix these two shades together. This is very cool and this is very warm where you would think I'd go in with this one, but I just think that's a little too deep for me right now. So I'm gonna mix these two together and just very lightly hit this on the face. For blush, I have two here from Vive Cosmetics that I want to use. Which one is the vibe? I'm loving both of these. This one is Piazza. And then this one is Peshka. Beautiful. We've got like almost like a dark raisin and then like a bright peach. So I'm almost wanting to mix them. That's what I'm going to do. So MAC 168 brush. I'm going to go into the deeper one very lightly and apply this on the cheeks. Oh, I just love deeper blushes. I think they're so, so beautiful. Mm. Now I'm gonna go into the light one and just pop this closer onto the apple. I just said that like um, 
a bridesmaids where she's like, would you like an apple? Okay. Um, I was gonna use a different highlighter today, but then I forgot to grab one. So we're just gonna use the same one. I'm using my Pat McGrath one because it's perfect. This is my favorite highlighter ever right now at the moment. So I'm gonna pop this on my cheekbones and also on the center of the nose. Blend. Okay, moving on to my eyes. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Um, lately, I've been loving this combo. I know, of course, I have a combo for my brows. Um, but I go in with the Gimme Brow Brow Pencil from Benefit, which just looks like a very traditional brow pencil. And then after I filled them in with that and just kind of given them a once over, then I'll go in with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer because this is a little bit deeper and more precise so I can get more like hair-like strokes in there and define the eyebrow. Okay, and a prime, I'm gonna go into the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. This is my favorite. I'm just gonna go in with my finger and put it on my eyes. My brows are intense. Set them with some powder and now we can move on to the eyeshadow. I cannot tell you how many messages I've gotten from you guys telling me that I need this palette. So I bought it. <laughs> you guys know me very well. Um, the Man Eater palette, the original from um, Tarte is one of my favorite palettes of all time. I've hit pan on like half of the shadows in there. It's just so good. Um, well, they just came out with the Man Eater. I think it's called the After Dark. Yeah, Man Eater After Dark palette beautiful packaging. I mean, obviously I love it. It's literally the same color scheme as my brushes. I love a black on black with a matte and a gloss. Just give it to me. This is the inside of the palette and it's got so many just beautiful fall appropriate shades. So today I'm going to do obviously a pumpkin spice look and use more like warms, oranges, browns, like that whole vibe. But these like purpley shades are screaming at me to use them. So I wanna do another look with this palette soon. So let's play. I'm first gonna go into my, well, this isn't labeled. This must have been a sample. Um, I think this is my Fox One brush. And I'm gonna go into Desire, which is this yellow shade. Just pick it up on my brush. And this is gonna be the base color for everything else. It's gonna be like a bright yellow. And it's gonna peek behind the browns. Do the other side. It looks like a little aggressive right now, like, ew, but that's good. <laughs> this isn't gonna be like the main color, so it'll just like poke behind everything else. And then I'm gonna move into Mischievous, which is very orangey. I'll probably mix it just a little bit with Passion so it's not too bright. I'm gonna pop this now here. On the outer lid, start warming this up, getting that spicy part. Eels. I actually have no idea what my other pumpkin spice looks were. I probably should have looked those up. And then lightly bring it in the crease once we've got the majority of the product off. Eels. Going back into the desire shade just to re enhance the yellow. Ooh, so pumpkin-y. Now I'm gonna go into Alluring, which is this deep, almost like a, just a really warm red-toned brown. And I'm taking it on a really small pencil brush and I'm really gonna deepen this outer corner. Oh, that, that's pretty dramatic. And then go back into that really bright orangey shade and I'm just pushing it on the lid and this will help me blend out that deeper color. Softening the edges with a fluffier brush. Sometimes looks look scary and it takes a minute for them to like come together. But like for a minute there, I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> but it's coming together, it's coming together. Blending is key. And then of course, go back in with the yellow, get all the edges. Where I wanna go with this look, but I'm like really vibing with it right now. I think this is one of the smokier pumpkin spice looks that I've done and it's just speaking to me. 
and I don't know what to do as far as the lid. I just, I feel like I should do a shimmer. That doesn't give me pumpkin spice vibes, but this does. Well, in the meantime, I'm gonna add more yellow and I'm also gonna highlight <laughs> while I'm here, just pondering things. Um, I'm just gonna use my face highlighter to highlight and then hopefully by the time I'm done, I'll know what I wanna do. Whoa, that's intense. I'm gonna go into a Fox 3 brush with mischievous and passion mixed together these two bring this on the lower lash line so i can still ponder the lid i think i know what i'm gonna do but this will give me time to confirm with myself i'm loving this deeper more dramatic version of the pumpkin spice look it's making me feel cozy which i feel like pumpkin spice gives like i feel like this gives the pumpkin spice vibe and feeling so I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. And then go into Desire underneath, blend, blend, blend. I think I'm gonna go into Sundown, which is this shade here. It's like a golden glitter, but like not like foiled like these, cause these go on really intense. I want something that's somewhat sheer, just like a kiss of sparkle. So um, this is what it looks like on my finger and I'm gonna just tap this on the lid. I love it. I'm kind of just like keeping it in the front and then lightly tapping it so it kind of just disperses into the chocolatey shade. I'm gonna take my face highlighter and just kind of blend it into this look here. So we have like this natural fade. I'm not gonna bring this in too far because I'm just loving that lid color, but we need it to mend perfectly. Now the question is, what do I do with the lower lashes? Do I do a smoky in the waterline? Do I just leave it? I'm not gonna brighten it up. I'm just not in the mood for that today, what? I think what I'm gonna do is my mascara and lashes and I can figure out the bottom. So, L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Ba, ba, ba. You know what I want for my waterline is like a true golden bronze and I don't think I have that, but like imagine kind of like the color that's on the lid. You feel me? Okay, I just applied these lashes from Ardell. These are my new favorites. They're gonna be my new go-tos. Um, they're the 429s. They're just so beautiful, and I feel like you can wear them with dramatic looks and natural looks. You can wear them with winged out looks and more blown out looks like this. So um, they're still like drying and securing, so that's why you can see the glue, but I just remembered this eyeliner. I don't know if this is still available but this is the Urban Decay Torch Eyeliner. And it's just like this rich, rusty brown. I think this is gonna be perfect. I'm so excited. Do we love that? I don't know. Is that too bright? I just can't tell. This might be too bright. Oh, I just colored my eyeball. That's not what you wanna do. Adding mascara to the bottom. Just to wrap everything up. I don't know how I feel about that waterline. It's just not doing it for me. Okay, I added Costa Riche from MAC. Cause you know why, here's why. I really wanted the lid to be the statement. I love how that turned out. And I just felt like when I opened my eyes, I just went to that area on the bottom instead. And even right now, like it's a little smoky now because I like smoked it out for that liner. So I'm just gonna re-brighten it up with that like orangey color, mischievous. And some more desire. I'm happier with it. I actually kind of like that Costa Riche mixed with the torch. I feel like it brought a little bit of a different color to it. So maybe that worked out <laughs> for the better anyways. Okay, for my lips, I don't know what I want to do. I am like just so happy with the eyes. This is just so cozy to me. This is such a good classic fall look. Um, I don't know. That's pretty. Too dark. Oh, that's a vibe though. Okay. So I'm gonna start with, start with cool brown. Oh, 
I'm always using Cool Brown from Anastasia, but I just can't get away from it. It is my favorite, so it is what it is. Cool Brown from Anastasia. It's such a classic brown neutral lip liner. It's not too overly cool to where it's gonna go gray, but it's not too warm either. So, lining and overlining my lips. And then blend it out with my finger. It gives you like an instant ombre. And then I'm gonna try this one from Jason Wu. This is cannoli. Lastly, I think I need a good makeup spray. I'm gonna do the Morphe one. Okay, this is the final look. I, I love this look. I think that this might be my most favorite pumpkin spice tutorial that I've done. It just is so warm and cozy to me. This is not just pumpkin spice. This is just like fall in a makeup look. This is perfect for Thanksgiving. It's just very festive. It screams harvest. This to me just looks like all of my fall home decor downstairs. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just really happy with how this look turned out. If you end up recreating it, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your looks. If you love pumpkin spice-esque tutorials, make sure to check out the pumpkin spice playlist. I'll link it down below as well as in the info cards here. And then I'll also link to all of my other fall makeup tutorials as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you soon. Bye.